In this animation, we will be examining the effects of power factor correction on circuit current. In this example, we will demonstrate that the current drawn from the source can be reduced while delivering the same real power to the load by way of power factor correction. Our circuit for this demonstration consists of an inductive load and an AC sinusoidal source. The resistor labeled RS in this circuit represents internal resistance for the source. To demonstrate the premise outlined in the example, we first calculate the impedance magnitude and phase of the circuit as it is. Next, we use the impedance to obtain the current flowing in the circuit. We will then use the current phase angle to calculate the power factor. Having calculated the power factor, we will use this value along with the applied voltage and current magnitude to calculate true power being dissipated by the circuit. We will then move on to calculate the amount of capacitance that when added in parallel with the source will provide a power factor of 1 for this circuit. Next, we will add the capacitor and calculate the impedance of the modified circuit. We will use the impedance to calculate the current for the modified circuit. Lastly, we will use the current to confirm that the power dissipated by the modified circuit is the same as that of the original. To calculate the impedance, we start by finding the inductive reactance present in the circuit. From this calculation, we find that the inductive reactance present in the circuit is equal to 2,827.433 ohms. Next, we use the inductive reactance to calculate the impedance magnitude and phase. We begin with the impedance magnitude. From this calculation, we find that the overall impedance of the circuit in an unmodified state is equal to 1,736.311 ohms. We now move on to calculate the impedance phase angle. We use the provided resistance and our calculated value for inductive reactance to arrive at an impedance phase angle that is equal to 37.886 degrees. In this graphical representation, the applied voltage trace is blue and the resulting current waveform is shown in red. We will now calculate the current magnitude and phase as well as the power factor for the inductive load in this circuit. We will begin with the current magnitude and phase. We use the applied voltage and our calculated values for impedance magnitude and phase to arrive at an RMS value of 69.112 milliamps at an angle of minus 37.886 degrees as our circuit current. We now evaluate the cosine of the phase angle to calculate the power factor. Power factor ranges from 0 for purely reactive power to a value of 1 representing true power. For this inductive load circuit we find that the power factor is equal to 0 0.789 we now move on to calculate the average power for the inductive load circuit. The true power being dissipated by this circuit is equal to 6.54 watts. To recap, our circuit has a power factor of 0 0.789, is supplied by an RMS voltage source of 120 volts, and draws an RMS current of 69.112 milliamps while providing 6.54 watts of true power. Power factor correction can reduce this amount of current while delivering the same power to the inductive load. A capacitor can be added in parallel with the source to provide a power factor of 1 the power factor of the circuit will be equal to 1 when the capacitive reactance of the added capacitor is equal to the inductive reactance of the original load. To illustrate this fact, we calculate the capacitance required to produce the desired power factor of 1. To do this, we rearrange the basic relationship for calculating capacitive reactance 
to solve for capacitance. Solving the modified relationship, we arrive at a value of 938.159 nanofarads as the required capacitor value. Once the desired capacitor has been added to the circuit, the capacitive reactants and inductive reactants cancel each other out. As a result, the circuit appears to be purely resistive to the source. We now move on to calculating the current phase and magnitude for the modified circuit. As stated, with a power factor of 1, the circuit appears purely resistive to the source. We can therefore use the resistance value provided in the question to arrive at an RMS current value of 54.545 milliamps. It is also important to note that the resulting current phase angle is equal to zero. This means that the voltage and current are now in phase. Lastly, we confirm that the true power delivered to the load is unchanged by this modification. As illustrated by the results of this calculation, the true power being dissipated by the modified circuit is equal to 6.54 watts, which is the equivalent power to that of the initial unmodified circuit. As can be seen, power factor correction reduces current while delivering the same true power to the load. In this example, circuit current has been reduced by 14.567 milliamps, or approximately 21%.